has been five years since the Orange Revolution in Ukraine. In January 2010, the citizens of this nation of 46 million at the edge of Europe will vote again to elect their president. Most people in the Ukraine feel that the current president, Viktor Yushchenko, has not delivered on his promises. And if he runs, he is not likely to be elected for the second term. Most likely contenders are Viktor Yanukovych, Yulia Tymoshenko, Arseniy Yatsenyuk, and Sergei Tehipko. Here is a brief look at each one of them. Sergei Tyipko was born in Drahaneshti, a Ukrainian village in Moldova. He is 49 years old, married. He has four children. Currently, he is not a member of any political party. Sergei Tyipko started his career during Soviet times. He is a talented person who will listen to the opinions of others. His career took off in earnest when he left the Komsomol, the communist youth organization, and set up Priva Bank, one of the major players in the banking sector of Ukraine. He went on to head the National Bank of Ukraine. Then he was the vice prime minister for economic policy, then the minister of economy, then a member of parliament and the head of the Trudovaya Ukraina party. But in 2005, he left politics and moved into business. He has extensive experience as a business leader and has proved himself as a solid manager. Now he is keen to apply this experience on a larger scale, on the scale of the Ukrainian economy. Many experts now claim that if back in 2004, Ukraine's then-president Leonid Kuchma had picked Mr. Tehipko as his successor instead of Mr. Yanukovych, today's president Viktor Yushchenko would not have had a chance in those elections. Any other candidate apart from Yanukovych, whose candidacy was marred by his controversial past, would have been a better choice. And if Mr. Tihipko had been a presidential candidate back then, he would have almost certainly become president. These elections for Sir Haid Tukipko are an attempt to step up to the bigger political stage. He comes from Dnipropetrovsk in eastern Ukraine and has solid contacts with the business elite there. He is also well perceived in western Ukraine. He has a good understanding of how state government works on all levels. His record as the head of the National Bank and as Vice Prime Minister speaks for itself. He has always been seen as a top-notch professional. He has the capacity to think in a systematic and comprehensive way. These elections will be somewhat idiosyncratic in that the people won't vote for their preferred choice. Instead, they will vote against the candidate that they do not want to win. If, let's say, in the runoff, Tihipko competes against Yanukovych, it's Tihipko who's likely to win. If it's Tihipko running against Yatsenyuk, though this is an unlikely scenario, experience will triumph over youth, and Tihipko will get the upper hand. If, on the other hand, Tihipko and Timoshenko get to the runoff, Timoshenko will probably be outvoted by Tihipko. No matter who wins the next presidential elections in Ukraine, the greatest challenge the next president will face is Ukraine's economy. It is the improvement in the standard of living of its citizens that will determine whether Ukraine will reach its true potential in becoming one of the developed European democracies.